In this video, we'll show you how to set up your electric Rincon hydraulic press from Potter USA. Place the press frame onto a sturdy work surface and then place the electric pump on the same work surface on either side of the frame, whichever you're more comfortable with. The electric pump uses a quick connect mechanism to connect to the cylinder. We prefer that the connection point on the cylinder faces toward the back of the press, but this is entirely up to you. Familiarize yourself with the electric motor. There is a toggle on off switch. This is what will turn your press on and off. There is the pressure gauge and it may have a bubble in it. It does have fluid in it. That's completely normal. And there's the handle. Pulling it towards you lowers the lower platen and pushing it away from you raises the lower platen. To the side of the handle is the oil port. You will need to remove this paddle shaped piece of metal before you add oil to the pump. We have a separate video that details everything you need to know about adding oil to the pump, but let's go over it really quick right here. Use a 9 inch wrench and an adjustable wrench to loosen the bolt and remove the paddle cover. Then insert a long funnel into the port and begin filling the pump with about one and a half to one and three quarters gallon of hydraulic oil. You want this to be ISO 32, SAE 10 weight, and not hydraulic jack oil or brake fluid. Use a flashlight to look into the oil port and replace the paddle cover. When you receive your press, there may be a black plastic plug on the quick connect hose connection point on the cylinder. You want to remove that as well as any cap on the end of the hose if it's there. Press the nipple on the end of the pump hose into the opening of the cylinder until you hear a quiet pop. This pop occurs when the hose pushes through the cylinder gasket, ensuring a secure connection. Then twist the freely moving knurled piece on the cylinder onto the hose. Tighten as much by hand, and there's no need to use a wrench for this. I like to give it just a secondary tighten by hand just to make sure everything's set. To use the pump, plug it into a 110 volt outlet. Do not use an extension cord. Locate the toggle on the cylinder and flip it up to turn the press on. Use the handle to raise and lower the platen. Pulling it towards you lowers the platen and pushing it away from you raises the platen. This hydraulic cylinder only has a two inch stroke, so you will definitely need to use spacers when you are using your hydraulic press. If you find that the pump is slightly jerky or jumpy when you first turn it on, you can place a piece of gasket material or other sort of rubber anti-skid material underneath the pump. And that's how easy it is to set up the electric Rincon press from Potter USA. Please visit our website for more information.